Okay. Good day, class. Last meeting, I have discussed the housekeeping department in which you've learned the different tools, equipments, and chemical agents used in cleaning the guest room and public area. Okay, so for now, or for today, let's proceed to food and beverage department. So our learning outcomes for today is... To understand the types and operation in F&B services, to know the organizational chart of F&B department, its role and responsibilities, to know the top five best hotel fine dining restaurant, and lastly, to know the types of table service and F&B preparation. Okay, so what is food and beverage service? Okay, so food and beverage service it is a part of service-oriented hospitality sector. It can be part of the large hotel or tourism business, and it can also be run as an independent business. Okay, so the members of the FNB services team are required to perform a wide range of tasks, which include preparation of service, greeting the guests, taking their orders, settling their bills, and performing various tasks after the guest leave. So basically, food and beverage service is broadly defined as the process of preparing, presenting, and serving of food and beverage to the customer. And also, food and beverage service can be of two of the following types. Okay, so on-premise. When we say on-premise, the food is prepared within the restaurant or the facility or the establishment okay so the premise are well equipped and will finish to attract the customer to avail the fnb service second is the off premise or outdoor catering okay so basically from the word itself the food is served outside the premise of the restaurant okay either the food is delivered or serve kung asa ang event or occasion gi held. Okay, so muna siya difference between the two. And then also, we have two types of F&B service operation. So, first, commercial. So, in this case, F&B service is the primary uh, business. It is the main business. The food itself. Okay, so the most known commercial catering establishment are those hotels, all kinds of restaurants, mga lunches, mga cafeteria, pubs, clubs, and bars. Okay, so basically, ang ilahang pinaka main na service is the food. Second is the non-commercial. When we say non-commercial, uh, the operations are secondary. Okay, the business is secondary. Uh, the food business in, is secondary in alliance with the main uh, business. Okay, so this F&B service mainly catered to their consumer with limited choice of food and beverage. For example, uh, food and beverage service provided at the hospital. Diba ka, ang ilahamang yun main nga service is to treat those mga patient. Okay, mamagin ilang pinaka main nga service. But, Naapod sila cafeteria so that ang mga uh, family sa patient hindi na mo go out just to get some food, kundi naan na lang siya sa hospital. Okay? So, muna siya example of non-commercial. Muna siya example sa non-commercial, huwag mo na siya difference sa commercial nga type of operation in FNB. Okay? So, let us go through with this. Uh, what is catering? Okay? So, uh, makadungog tag mga term outside regarding anong catering. Very familiar na ni siya, di ba? So, I know you already have an idea what is a catering is. Okay? So, catering, it is the business of providing food and beverage service to the people at a remote location. Okay? So, catering is a part of food and beverage service sector. For example, um, arranging food service at a wedding location, uh, arranging food service at a birthday, okay? Nga gihild na siya sa Osaka lugar, like 
kung asa nagpuyo ang customer or niabang sila another location. Okay, muna siya ay catering. The food is gidala kung asa nakaheld ang event or ang occasion. Okay, so what is QSR? QSR stands for Quick Service Restaurant. Okay, these are fast food outlets. Okay, where the food is prepared, purchased, and generally consumed quickly. Okay, so they are run with convenience as a main factor. Example of this one are those branded na mga outlets like McDonald's, like Jollibee. Okay, those are mga fast food restaurant or mga fast food outlets. Okay, and then what is FSR? FSR stands for Full Service Restaurant. Okay, so they are fine dining, family, specialty, and ethnic or theme restaurant where the food and beverage menu is wide and the customer expectations are high. Okay, when we say customer expectations are high, so basically the prices for each menu is not that low pod. Okay, since higher ang expectations sa customer. So, basically, high food ang mga prices and, and then the customer service is very superb. Good. Okay? They are operated with customer satisfaction and experience as the key factor. Okay? So, muna siya difference ato nila. Okay? So, let us now proceed to organizational chart of F&B department. Okay? The operation in F&B is diligin na siya most success without the people behind without the employee working behind okay so they are also um kanang in line gig 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 based on the ranks okay so this is an example of a food and beverage organizational chart in a large establishment, okay? So, it is headed by the food and beverage director, and then apo siya assistant, and then the administrative assistant, and then the mga manager na sa in each section or in each sub-department, okay? And we will discuss this one by one, okay? So, let's start with the food and beverage director. So, food and beverage director, okay? He, he or she is responsible for planning, uh, purchasing, and ensuring that the target profit is mamit within the time frame. He or she would plan how to achieve those goals or objectives and at the same time still provide superb customer service. Okay? More on planning gina siya and directing gina ang director. And then for assistant and beverage director, um, he would take over the responsibility of the FNB director if wala na siya. Okay? If the FNB director is absent, then it would be the assistant who will perform and carry out the, the roles and responsibility of the director. Okay? Room service manager. So, room service manager is responsible for uh, selecting, training, encouraging, and ensuring that the cultural value and the core value of the department is established. Okay? He is also responsible for controlling labor expenses and handling guest complaint. Okay? So, since manager, so if ever there are certain complaints on the menu, certain complaints on the service, so, it would be the room service manager who will take care of those things, okay? Then, order takers. So, they are responsible for taking the orders to from the customer. So, mahatag sila sa menu, uh, the selection, and if dili familiar ang guest sa menu, kay bago pa lang siya, then it would be them who will take the recommendation kung unsa ang best, uh, pinaka the best, or kanang... Kana bitaw daghan bitaw nga sales ana nga menu so sila ang mo recommend ana and also mo take sila sa order sa guest in a friendly and hospitable manner next is the beverage manager so beverage manager is responsible for forecasting the daily flow of the customers within its section okay so he is responsible for managing and monitoring the bar inventory tracking the type of drink sales and allocating cleaning and tendering tasks okay and then the bar person he prepare he or she prepares 
and mixes drinks following the standard recipe and also takes charge of the storage sa mga beverage, make report or sales inventory sa mga beverage like mga spoilage, kung sa ito ay uh, nakonsume within the day, sa so muhimo po siya ang report and then after making that report, iya po na ipasa dito sa ilahang manager, the beverage manager. Okay? And he also responsible for si seeing that the prop that the bar is properly stacked, clean and well maintained. Now let's proceed proceed to Chef Steward. So Chef Steward is responsible for supervising and coordinating the activities of the pantry. Basically, um naagunis sila sa kitchen department. Okay, nana siya sa sulod. Okay, um. He, he or she is responsible for inspecting the kitchen, the workrooms, the storerooms, and equipments for cleanliness and orders. And then, steward is responsible for assisting in, in keeping a restaurant bar or lunch clean. Okay? The steward may also perform mga basic administrative tasks like answering the phone, uh, taking reservations, and giving out basic information regarding the 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 kanang kung unsa ang naas restaurant okay next is the executive chef okay so executive chef is responsible for overseeing the kitchen staff and ensuring the quality of food items um, his duty also include kanang mag hire o mag train ug mga staff regarding on how to cook that certain dishes and then kay syempre na magi mga signature ang every restaurant. Lagi na sa mga techniques kung giyon sa nila paghimo na ang ilahang mga menu. So it would be the executive chef who will train those mga newly hired na mga chef. Okay? And then sauce so chef. So sauce so chef is responsible for planning and managing Managing food preparation in restaurant kitchen. He is known as the assistant of the head chef or the executive chef, and he is he or she is second in command. Okay, so this skilled individuals um, perform a range of duties that includes in planning, uh, planning menus, training new staff, and recording inventory. Okay, pasin mag confuse mo since uh, the same the same lang ang mga ang mga responsibilities ani nila. Prehatong mga prehatong head, kuto pinaka first na kaya pun siya involved, kaya pun siya planning. Since namagun siya yung section, kada section ana na agi na siya manager. So mo report ang mga under nila tut sa manager, and then the manager also sa each section will report to the executive nagyon. Mo report sila kung ano siya gawa sa ilahang section, ano siya mga kailangan ni improve. ang mga performance sa ilahang mga tao dito nga section. So, muna sila himuon good kay the manager. Okay? And then, catering manager. So, he, he or she is responsible for the planning of the food. Okay? For scheduling chef, shifts and coordinating food preparation and serving during event. Okay? To be successful in this role, you should have work experience in catering or hospitality and you should have a solid organization abilities since catering manggod is very technical na siya or very need kay na siya responsibilities and naapod ka ni, ka ni managerial skills since you will cater a lot of kanang customer man and you will not just cater within the premise of the restaurant but also outside okay so you will meet different kind of a uh, customer and then basically uh, mag himo jud ka og ocular inspection sa usa ka lugar para at least na background mo and then how also you're going to to display or prepare the food food inig about ninyo sa location Okay, so service manager. So service manager, uh, he is responsible for managing the service department. Okay, handles customer service interactions, reports, and repairs. So also service manager will ensure the excellent customer service, maintain strong relationships with the customers and the band vendors, and ensuring a more repeat and customers. Okay.
And then, restaurant manager. So, restaurant manager is responsible for managing the functions in the dining room. Okay? Ordering material, mga managing budget, mga preparation reports of the staff and sales, supervising, training, mga share responsibility sa restaurant manager. And then, for captain servers, so they are responsible for um, taking their order to the kitchen. And after taking the order to the kitchen, they bring the customer's food to the table. So throughout the meal, the captain waiter will check in on the diners, answering and resol resolving any issues that have arisen. Okay, so those are the organizational chart in the front in the food and beverage department. And also I have explain to you the rules and responsibility. Okay, so dili ang kid mo mag-confuse between the rules and responsibility. Ayaw kalimti ang ilahang um, hierarchy or ang ilahang inline ilang pagkasunod-sunod sa organizational chart. Okay, so let us now proceed to the hotel fine dining restaurant. Okay, so what is fine dining? Okay, so fine dining, it is a full-service restaurant with specific dedicated meal course. The decors of the restaurant is featured highly quality materials. They have established certain rules in dining, which visitors are generally expected to follow. Sometimes, nag-include po na sila mga dress code. Okay, so fine dining establishes are sometimes called white tablecloth restaurant. Okay, so the use of this white tablecloth eventually become less fashionable, but the service and upscale ambience remain. Okay, mona siya definition sa fine dining. So, full service restaurant na siya. So, the, the customers are mga with class and mga um, imp very important person good ang naaani nila. Okay, so I will give you the top five best hotel fine dining restaurant around the world. Okay, so let's start with the fifth one. Okay, so Waku Gin Marina Bay Sands, Singapore. So here, so um, the theme for this restaurant is that the chef or Chief Tatsuya Wakuda regarded as one of the Australia's finest chefs, showcasing his culinary flair by combining the freshest Australian seasonal produce with the French culinary arts and Japanese style presentation. Okay, so this restaurant is basically known for their French culinary arts and Japanese style presentation. They have incorporated mga fresh seasonal ingredients that is sourced from around the world with culinary uh, with the Japanese culinary uh, craftsmanship. Okay, mona siya ang unsay tawag ani? Mona siya ang kanang naaani nga restaurant. Okay, and then the fourth one is the Felix, the Peninsula Hong Kong, China. Okay, so their contemporary menu features mga fresh seasonal dishes such as crab salad, tuna tartar with dandelion salad, slow cooked sea bass with black shrimp mousse and grilled Australian lamb. Okay, so it is Chef de Cuisine Juan Gomez brings a flair from modern cuisine, from modern Euro European cuisine and gastronomy to Felix Mino with an impressive resume boosting international achievements and an intensive list of awards. Okay, so this restaurant basically featured European cuisine. Okay, wala na inyihinumduman. Felix, the Peninsula, Hong Kong, China. Offer the European cuisine. Okay, European cuisine ang pinaka main nila nga um, naaani nga restaurant. Okay, the third one is the Epicure in Bristol Parish, France. Okay, so this restaurant is an upscale hotel restaurant overlooking a courtyard garden and specialized in French. French fine dining and wine. Okay, so um, this restaurant in France, they specialized in French 
fine dining, okay? And it is celebrated by Chef Eric Fretchen that created the Temple of Gastronomy that is absolutely French, okay? So, um, his macaroni stuffed, stuffed with black truffle, artichoke, and parmesan is an unforgettable dish people travel to Paris to experience, okay? Then second is the dinner by Heston Blumenthal's Mandarin Oriental London in UK. So this is, this is located in UK and this the dinner is one of the world's most celebrated restaurant. Okay, so this restaurant is temporarily closed for now since um naamagoy na hitabo nga fire last June. Okay, taud-taud na and then nag-open na po ni siya pagka December. Okay? This is their, their food is inspired by the menu of British culinary history. Mani siya ang specialization or gi-offered nila sa ilahang restaurant. And then the first one is out of the blue, Suniva Fushim in Maldives. Okay, so here, there, it is the most exclusive dining venue is once upon a table. So, na ni lang sim, once upon a table. So, a horseshoe-shaped table that sits just eight diners for an intimate dining uh, experience. So, throughout the year, many of the world's top chefs will hold court here. Okay, so those are the top five best hotel fine dining restaurant around the world. And each restaurant um, specialized different cuisine, like French cuisine, um, Kadtong European cuisine, mana ang lahang pang specialized in each restaurant. So they are the top five best hotel fine dining. Now let's proceed to the types of table service. Okay. First is the French service. Okay, so French service, the food here is either cooked or completed at a side table in front of the guest. French service employs two servers working together to serve the meal and many include a captain, seats, guest, and a wine steward to serve wine. So basically, na ay duha ka server. One would assist the guest and the other one is to serve the wine, okay, to the guest. Mano siya ang French service. So let us not just go deeper Regarding on the type of the table service, we will just define each one. Dilit na nato i-apil o discuss ang iyang mga um, presentation like as ibutang ang kuchara, as ibutang table napkin, ang iyang wine glass. Kaya it will be discussed in your food and beverage naman po na subject. Okay? Second type of table service is the Russian service. So, it is similar with the French service in many respect. The two major difference is that Russian service where only one server, well, only one have, o sa lang yung ka-server, nga kailangan, okay? And that food is fully prepared and attractively arranged on silver platters in the kitchen, okay? Unlike sa katong French service nga, Duha ang server nga kailangan. Kini sa Russian, usa lang ang server nga kailangan. Okay, so to serve, the server places a heated plate before each guest from the right side. Okay, so going around the table clockwise. Then the server brings the platters of food to the dining room for from the kitchen and presents them to the guests at the table. Okay, mo na siya ang um, way on how to serve the on how to serve the guests in a Russian way, okay? Or in a Russian table type of service. Okay, the third one is the English service. Okay, so English service occasionally for special dinner that is served in private dining room of a restaurant. But it is more typical of a meal served by servants in a private home. The advantage of English service is that it involves a great deal of showmanship for a special occasion. The disadvantages for this one is that the host may be required to do a lot of work by dishing up some of the food and with only one person serving the meal and the service can be very time-consuming. Okay? Another one is the American service. 
So this is less formal than French, Russian, and English service. So American service can be simple and casual or complex and elegant. It can be used to serve the guest who wants a quick uh, filling meal and a casual a restaurant with simple service. And then another one is the banquet service. Okay, so banquet service involves serving meal to a group of people who are celebrating or gathering for a special occasion or honoring special guests. So the server generally sets the table with American settings modified according to the particular menu. Occasionally, it could be French, Russian, or buffet service is used at a banquet and the table is set accordingly. Okay, so mag lang kina kung ang sa gusto sa customer. Another one is the family style service. Family style service is a modification of American service and somewhat more info informal. But the amount of service required of the server is minimized because the server simply sits the food on the table, pours the beverages, uh, bring the appropriate condiments, and clears away the soiled dishes. So mola na siyang buhaton sa server. Unlike the other type of table service nga from... Hantog nga mahuman gid siya ka on agad ang server sa ayang kilid. Okay? And then, another one is buffet service. So, buffet service is the guest select their meals from an attractive arrangement of food on long service table. So, na ang food, naka-prepare na long table, different type of menu from appetizer hantod na sa main dish. Okay? Um, silverwares and napkins is provided and it is conveniently located at the buffet table for the guests to pick up with their meals or a complete cover that includes mga rolls, mga butters, and condiments na naka-present na sa table. Okay? So, ilala na i-pick up if they want that certain mga condiments or com complement condiments, uh, and then ilala na po dalhan sa yang table. Okay, so basically, they serve, but sila ang makuhaan ng food na naka-arrange dito sa long table. Okay, so those are the type of the table service. A French, Russian, American, family style, a banquet, and buffet service. Okay. Next one, and the last Discussion for the food and beverages department is the food and beverage preparation. So, very important nga before you accept or you open your restaurant, um, important nga i-prepare na tanan. From the utensils, from the food, and even sa kitchen, it should be prepared. So that when you open your restaurant na, the work is harmonious and wala gyud mahitabo na mga conflicts and mga delays okay since we are after here to provide customer service we are after here to give customer satisfactions and yet basta ba ang customer madelayed lang pila ka second reklamo na na sila di ba and then discourage na na sila dayon okay okay so missis in miss missin sin so to prepare the environment, the staff carries out the following activities. So, these are the activities involved in Miss in Scene. Okay, so, in this activity of preparing the environment in the food and beverage stab establishment so that the guests and the service staff fit, find it hygienic and pleasant. Okay, so, maugid na siya ang purpose why this preparation is happening in the food and beverage department okay you have to prepare the environment so that the establishment so that the guest and the service staff would find the area would find the restaurant hygienic and pleasant okay the second one is missing place so the serving staff carries out the following duties okay so after opening the restaurant um after closing the restaurant so the act this activity would this activity is kailangan buhaton gid na siya sa mga serving staff okay so miss in place it is an activity of putting things in place to make the subsequent f and b services smooth okay 
mo na siya kailangan buhaton. And then last one, preparing the sideboards or dump waiters. So, sa, uh, sideboards, it is a piece of furnitures with numerous compartments and shelves to keep condiments, water jug or bottles, cutlery, uh, food platters, and linens. Sideboards are allocated for each section. So, like in the housekeeping department, na, di ba, naasa lang trolley para sa mga specific na tools, mga specific na equipment na kailangan or even mga linens na kailangan nila para in big up sa room. So, same with the food and beverage na apod sila'y ana. Okay? Naapod sila ani in which diha makabutang ang tanang condiments. And then nakabutang ang mga cutlery, mga food platters, so that when a guest uh, would request condiments or would request something, so dali na lang kaayos siya. Okay? And also, it should be replenished from time to time. Okay? So, bantayan siya per minute para if na ay kuwang, if na ibanan, so i-replenish tayo na siya. Okay, so those are the food and beverage department. Those are the type of operations, um, the type of table service, the food and beverage preparations in a food and beverage department. Okay, so if you have any question, you can message me. And also on top of your our Moodle or in the e-learning, na added to ang consultation time for clarifications and questions. So you can click the link. And pwede tayong magstorya storya ko sa inyong mga concerns. Okay, so that would be all. And thank you, everyone.